Forgiveness is a powerful weapon that, of course, won't change the past, but will sure transform the future. Hello, welcome to our daily reflection program, I Got Today. I'm Father Biju Thomas, SVD, a Divine Word Missionary. In the Gospel today, to the question of Peter, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him. Jesus illustrated his reply with the parable of the unforgiving servant. As human beings, there is sometimes an unavoidable tendency in us to keep counts in our relationships. We make a count or keep a rough numerical impression of how many times a person has done good to me of when was the last time so and so person behaved bad with me, of how many times a person has hurt or caused harm to me, or how often has a person offended me or spoke ill against me. Most of the times, our relationship get reduced to mere mathematical calculations. Sometimes we find ourselves entangled in the web of keeping records of others' actions. It is in such situations that forgiving the one who has done wrong against us becomes a calculative affair, similar to that of the unforgiving servant in the Gospel. Every time we gather in the church, we recite the Lord's Prayer and say, Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. What does it mean to receive and give forgiveness? Forgiveness is similar to love. Forgiveness is not an option. It is a command from God. The two greatest commandments are to love God and to love others. There is no way to forgive without loving. And there is no way to love without forgiving. We are all fallen humans. We have sinned. We have selfishness and short-sightedness. The Gospel is an invitation for us to restore relationships because God decides what's best for us and the only way that you can experience the best thing in life is by forgiving others. It is a choice you and I have to make. The choice is in our hands. Lord, make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, in giving of ourselves that we receive, and in dying that we are born to eternal life.